Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. Today, we're on the FM3, and I'm using the beta, or as I would say, the beta version of Firmware 4 for the FM3, which brings the FM3 amp block in line with the AxeFX3 using the new Cygnus amp modeling. I'm also using the latest beta release of FM3 Edit. And today, we're actually going to talk about a function in FM3 Edit, the channels library. But before we do that, there are brand new factory presets which have been put up as a preview on the forum. And this is one of them. This is my live preset. So when the full release comes out and the full factory banks are released, this will be in preset number 381 or 380, depending on where you have the number offset. So let's just have a listen to this. This one has a bunch of different scenes, but I'll just show you the first scene, which is my rhythm guitar scene, and the second scene, which is my lead scene. Okay, so that's the lead scene with a really big kind of stereo delay on there. And let's say you don't like the sound of that amp, but you do like the sound of that multi-tap delay and you wanna be able to use it in any preset you like without having to go through all the individual parameters and dial those in. What you can do is this, we can go to the block library, we can hit save, and now we have the choice to save either the entire block or just the current channel. So let's call this one, I'll just call it live lead so that I can remember what I use it for and we'll hit enter on there. Now what I'll do is I'm going to navigate to a different preset. So I've got a little preset started down here. I've just called Cygnus using the Cameron CCV2A and a factory York audio impulse. It sounds like this. <laughs> So it's more of a kind of dirty modded Marshall thing as opposed to the Boogie Mark series model that I was using in my preset. But what I can do now is if I want a big lead delay on this, I can attach that multi-tap delay and I'm going to route it in parallel just because that's the way it was in the previous preset. Down here, I'm going to add a multi-tap delay and rather than go through and try to remember all the settings, I'll just come down here to block library and I'm going to find live lead right there. You can see I've got the same settings that I had in my other preset. And unlike the previous behavior of the block library, it's only replaced the settings in that particular channel. So we get this. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. What if I wanted to leave that setting on channel A, but say put a different setting on channel B? And you saw that there were lots of options in my block library. I absolutely love the multi-tap delay. So let's go here and let's choose this one right here called PCM70 Circular. These are based on some settings which were posted on the Fractal Forum emulating an old rack delay. And you can see what's happened now is on channel A, I still have my live lead settings, but on channel B, I have totally different settings. And they sound like this. <laughs> Glorious stuff. Now, let's hit save on this particular preset. And let's say I want to add a phaser block to this. There is a great factory Pete Thorne preset, and I love the phaser settings in here. So let me just play through this Pete Thorne preset really quickly with the phaser engage. <laughs> What I can do now is I can basically steal that particular channel. I can go block library, save. I'm gonna call it PT90. Now I'm gonna navigate back to my other preset that I've called Cygnus. Let's add a phaser block in here. And you know what? I actually have a favorite phaser in here. It is the script 90, which is this one right here. I'll just bring the rate down. This is where I like a kind of phaser, more of a slightly slower, less deep thing. Yeah. 
But on channel B, you guessed it, I can navigate there, I can go to the block library and I can bring up this PT90 setting on there. Now I've got the phaser from that Pete Thorne preset. <laughs> I still have that big greasy circular delay on there, but hopefully that gives you a very quick idea of just how functional the channels library is on the latest version of FM3 Edit. It is going to simplify my workflow a whole bunch. It's probably going to simplify yours a lot as well because, for example, if you have a particular favorite clean app, a particular favorite dirty app, and a particular favorite lead app, you can now just save them as individual channels. And if you want to go and build a brand new preset, you don't have to remember a master block setting, or you don't have to kind of hit copy and paste on channels a bunch of times. You can just pop them in wherever you like. You could do this with factory presets really easily as well. For example, there is a really fun factory preset here called Mark Day's Recto FM3. It sounds massive. But let's say I still want that amp on channel A, but I want my favorite amp, the USA Lead Mid Gain. I'm going to navigate to channel B and I'm going to use the block library and I'll bring up these Mark IV settings right here. So you can see this has the settings from my live preset. I do the same thing on channel B with the cabinet. I'm going to bring up my preferred cabinet, which is actually a user cab in here. I've just pre-saved this. It's like a TV chef. Here's one I prepared earlier. I'm going to turn the drive block off, but still got this, this wonderful delay pitch and reverb greasing everything up. And it sounds like this. <laughs> Now, if I want to go back to the stock settings, I'll just change the amp and the cab back to channel A. I'll kick the drive block in and it's just the way I found it. And I would highly encourage you, if you've got a favorite preset that you have built from scratch, when the full release for this is out, if you don't like playing around with beta versions, take all your favorite effect types and save them as individual channels. That way, if you want to build new presets from scratch, if you want to experiment with different routing for effects, you've still got all your favorite channels in there. I just think of them as like having individual pedals or rack units with my favorite settings in there, except it's so much easier than going through and connecting all of those things. I can just drop the blocks in, I can load the channels up, and it's wonderful stuff. Furthermore, you'll be able to share individual channels amongst users, and I will be sharing a bunch of my channels once the full release is out so that you can all play around with them. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. You can go to the Fractal Forum to get the beta release for the latest firmware and the editor. Otherwise, have a great week. I'll see you next week for another Tuesday Tone Tip.